Hello everyone, I am Bill, and this is another Sonic Ninja video. In this video, we're going to go over MIDI routing in FL Studio. I'm currently trying to make the transition from Logic to FL Studio, so I'm teaching myself. And I wanted to go over MIDI routing and set up the same acid baseline that I did in a previous Logic video, where I took ABL3, Blue Arp, and, a, and a LFO tool and created an acid baseline. So the first thing we're going to do is load up ABL3. Switch it to note mode, turn up the volume. Okay, then the next important step is to go into the MIDI settings and set the MIDI input port. I'll just use one, but it's important to remember this number that you pick. Make a new channel, put blue ARP on it, and go into those same MIDI settings and set the output port to be the same port number as you used for the input port of ABL3. Drop the steps down just to make a simple ARP. And we've got an ARP going. Okay, the next step is LFO tool. Now the way we're using LFO tool, I believe you could actually add it to any track. But I'm just going to add it to the Blue ARP channel. I should say, not track. Still learning my FL Studio lingo. And as before, click the gear. Go into the MIDI settings, set the output port to be port 1. Now I'm going to change the MIDI CC to 21, just an arbitrary number. Turn up the cutoff so we have a base value that's decently high. Turn up the LFO routing for cutoff, and I'm going to turn off the LFO routing for volume. Good enough. And we'll pick a sine wave. Okay, so let's go back to ABL3. Turn on MIDI Learn. Tweak cutoff a bit. Start our playhead. And you can see it assigned CC21 to cutoff. Let's turn up the resonance. Switch back to blue ARP. And now we should have an ARP. So there you have it, a quick and dirty acid baseline in FL Studio using ABL3, Blue Arp, and LFO Tool. Let me know what you think in the comments if you have any questions. Feel free to ask, and I will do my best to answer. Thanks for watching.